What's up guys? How's everybody doing? Hopefully everybody's doing wonderful. Sorry I've been absent for the past few days. Just had a lot going on. Nothing major, nothing to worry about. Just got things I need to line up before I go on the trip to El Salvador. So I still, I'm still a month away from leaving, but I'm trying to get everything ready and sorted. That way things and bills are taken care of while, uh, while I'm gone. So check out that boat, guys. Golly, I don't know if y'all saw it, but that heck of a boat but uh yeah so that's what i got going on right now um and uh like i said just trying to set up everything because guys you know as as a working lease operator i'm not an owner operator i'm a lease operator as a working lease operator you have to make sure you have everything set up before you leave on a trip because if not when you come back you're gonna be um it's gonna take a while to get dig yourself out of the hole uh, as far as payments and as far as uh, the fuel and all that stuff that, that's going to happen once you come back if you're gone for an extended period of time I'm only going to be gone a week and a half but that could be enough to put me in a hole a little bit so just trying to I, I, last week I didn't film anything because I was just uh, busting out loads I did three loads back to back and just I was just running was just from bell to bell you know just getting there delivering coming back picking up another one and that's what happened yet last week so that's why i didn't really do any vlogging last week i do apologize for that but today we are heading somewhere way different than what we normally do we're headed up to ohio so i'm pretty excited about that bringing you guys along with me on a uh, trip to ohio uh we're just going to do a drop and hook kind of like what i did down in brownsville of, uh, i don't know how many loads ago where you just go, you drop the trailer, pick up an empty, and you come back. So that's basically what I'm going to do when I get to Ohio, up to Cleveland. I'm going to drop this one off, and then pick up an empty and take it back, bring it back home. And uh, that should be a uh, good one, that load. So, but anyways, the topic today is um, being treated, being treated bad or yeah just being treated bad at when it comes to picking up at uh not necessarily at the plants or the refineries most of the time my experiences at these plants or refineries have been pretty decent there are a couple of there are a few of those that uh think that they're um you know that, that they they are the god of the plant and they're gonna just talk to you and treat you and be however they want to be with you um but on today's to, what would happen today what happened today was wasn't wasn't really about that what happened today was i was pulling into the i was in pulling into the plant trying to get into a um the the turnaround area there and the two uh plant guys that were um dealing with my load um came by and when they saw my shifter when they saw my shifter one of them kind of smirked and and uh and kind of said something to the other one so i didn't really think too much of it but um when uh the guy that said something uh he was inside and then uh the other guy went and got my paperwork and when uh, only one of them came back out and uh when the other guy came when the guy came out i asked him i said uh i said oh what he was he uh kind of talking about my shifter and he's like yeah he he said you're ignorant because you have that shifter um ignorant Hmm. I don't know. Is that like a wrong choice of words? Is ignorant being, um, is ignorant to me is not knowing something. So if, if you don't know about a certain thing, then you're ignorant to that thing. But once you know about it, then you're not ignorant to it because you know. But what is, I know that's a derogatory word. I know we use that uh, word a lot for this particular reason too, but what does having this shifter right here like this have to do with being ignorant? Hmm. That's my question. And then, uh, so anyways, I asked the guy, I said, so I said, the story behind this is that my truck, my kids name my trucks and this truck is named hot chocolate. And I wanted to find something that dealt with chocolate, but I couldn't find anything that dealt with hot chocolate. So I found this handle right here and uh, decided to uh, buy it because it has Hershey's chocolate. You know, what better than uh, the old, uh, the good old Hershey's chocolate has nothing to do with the beer yingling. Um, but I just thought it was cool looking and that's why I purchased it. 
you guys know that you've been here. If you've been here, you already know why I got it and all that other stuff, right? But uh, it was just, to me, I was like, okay, does it matter whether I have this shifter or another shifter or no shifter at all? I mean, if it's an automatic, does it really matter? Because I'm at the end of the day, I'm there to pick up a load to do a job. I got my load and got out of there. But it was kind of a little bit of a slap in the face of them right there, really in front of me, basically. You know, it's like one of those those moments, you know, like, I'm right here. <laughs> I'm right here, you know, I, I can hear you. <laughs> it's kind of one of those moments. I didn't hear exactly what he said, but the other guy came out and told me what he said afterwards. Um, of course, I'm not going to raise, of course, I'm not going to get upset, raise hell, nothing like that, because at the end of the day, it's this is my job. If I end up causing a problem inside of one of these refineries, I can get banned for that refinery and I could potentially even lose my lease or lose my job. So we're not going to do all that. But I think it was just funny that he was calling me ignorant, not and but but yet he was ignorant to the reason why I have this. Make sense? So <laughs> Yeah, that's what I that's what uh, I got going on already this morning. And another thing I need to do is I need to go take off. Let me go back here and show you guys what I'm talking about. I need to take off this uh, this mud flap. Uh, what do they call these things? Mud flap. Uh, so so basically, so it won't flap out. So so it won't be flapping. So that's how I already fell off. Or well, not fell off. It broke. So I go, well, I went ahead and removed it. And now this side is uh, just broke this morning, this piece here. So I'm going to go ahead and just unbolt these. Got my handy dandy uh, DeWalt. Uh, no advertisement for DeWalt, but it's always been one of my uh, favorite brands to use. Um, I bought this one for $150 at uh, Lowe's, I think. And then, uh, which is a pretty cool impact. And then, of course, I got my tools that you guys have seen numerous times. So. I'm going to go over ahead and uh, just remove those and then uh, put them in my box because there's really nowhere to throw them out here. So I'm going to put them in my box. You can also use these things, these things for certain stuff, you know, for something also, you know, so I might just hang on to them for a little bit. If I decide something to do with them, I will. If not, I'll just get rid of them. So I'm going to go ahead and take those off and uh, that way. That way, the main thing is for it not to fall, not to fall and run into somebody, you know, hit somebody's car. Right now, it's motorcycle season, so we definitely don't want to hit, we don't want to be hitting anybody's car. What size is that? That's pretty good. That's one thing I've never been good at, sizing these things. That's a 14, there you go. So, we'll grab a smart. Of course, I don't have these in order, as I should. Well, there was some in order. I don't have 15 or 14. It's gone. Where is it? Not everything but the 14. Let's see if this 916s will work. Wow, the 916s will work as well. Oh, look. I messed up 
on my wrench. Look. Did it mess it up on the inside? Oh. Well, looks like we're gonna have to buy one of these. See what happened? Too much power, too much torque messed up the, the threads right there, so. Oh well. No, it's not gonna go anywhere for now, so we'll just get one a little bit down the road. Pick up our mess. Ooh, that's hot. We don't wanna be leaving a mess everywhere. Although I do have this one that I could put on there for now. That's barely enough. But anyways, I'm gonna swap this out, guys. I still haven't put my bumper on my truck yet. They're at Chrome World, they're just real busy and I really, my schedule also. kind of kind of hectic at the moment so that's why we haven't put our bumper on yet I didn't want to come on There we go, we got that on there, so we're good. We're good for now. But yeah guys, uh, what do you guys think about, about that situation? I mean I know I know that the I know that the uh, I know the shifter looks silly to some people. I just like guys, let's face it. Every Peterbilt looks like every other Peterbilt, no matter I mean, you can dress them up a little bit, but it still looks like every other Peter Oak, really. I just wanted to do something a little unique. I know I don't have to explain to my my guys that have been here for a while, but uh, this thing don't want to come out now. But uh, yeah, that's what I had going on this morning. It got me a little upset, don't get me wrong, but at the end of the day, it's all good. Got her out. The end of the day, it's all good, because really the joke was on him. Put our tools back where they're supposed to go. Get it charged by impact. Put this stuff up and then uh we're ready to roll. Ooh, it is hot out there already. Oh the ghetto APU is gonna get some uh <laughs> it's gonna get some workout today, tomorrow. Mm -mm -mm. I have a feeling that it's not gonna do well. It's been doing okay, but it's always been at night. And, uh, yeah, I don't know what we're going to have to do. We might have to do something else. Get a bigger unit or a different unit. Like I said, a couple of you guys have been trying different, uh, different units. So there's a group of us that are doing experiments, and they're kind of uh, letting me know how they're doing with theirs. And, uh, but, you know, of course, I'm letting you guys know how mine's doing. Not doing great, though. I'm not going to lie to you not doing great at night it does it does good um, I haven't run it during the day yet in, in the hot summer so I don't think it's I don't foresee it doing that great because it just gets so hot up here 
and it keeps this area really hot so I have to last time it worked out a lot better for me because I closed the curtains completely basically and then just left left the outlet open and it actually did pretty good but when I opened up the, the when I opened up the curtains it was just like super hot in here it was crazy all right let's get on let's get on down the road but yeah guys uh I was watching a I was watching a, um, a TikTok earlier while I was uh, getting getting loaded and stuff. I was watching a TikTok and there was a, a driver talking about how they get treated at, at these uh, shipping shippers or receivers whenever they uh, the, they go they show up to pick up these loads. But he was talking more in the uh, in the refrigerated drive-in refrigerated. Uh, part of it part of the industry and I do remember that I remember that very very vividly um, at times I even wanted wanted to quit driving trucks just because how messed up these shippers or receivers would make it for us uh, it wasn't even the road it was just getting getting to the places and dealing with the people at these places man it was just it was terrible but it's a bad situation here Slow down, see if they let us over because we're about to run out of road. About to run out of road up here. Don't got a lot of room. We're gonna throw our flashers on, make sure they see that we're uh hopefully nobody's texting. Throw our flashers on so we can so we get up to speed. Very dangerous spot right there. But anyways, as uh what I was talking what I was saying, um at points I, I I really wanted to quit driving trucks just because of those people I had to deal with. Going on over here. Got us a dump truck. Uh, his hood. He's trying to raise his hood up. Dump truck. Oh, oh, dump truck. Uh, I guess he his door opened in the back and dropped some uh, dirt on the ground. Not good. Not good. Just a mess right here, guys. I'm sorry I'm deviating from the conversation, but just a mess in this little area. If you guys can see from the camera back there, just a mess. There was an accident on the other side. My man. I'm at the state line, Texas and Louisiana on 10. So just, just for you guys that want to know uh, where I'm at. And uh, just, just a mess always right there. The construction that's taking years to do. Somebody's just trying to make that as long as they can so they can make more money. How would it suit? I don't know. I'm not a construction worker. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just a complete mess. Ooh, man, look at that traffic. Wow. Anyways, back to what I was talking about. Okay, okay, let's not deviate from the conversation. So, um, yeah, I, I, I was really contemplating quitting driving trucks because of, of how bad these shippers and these receivers would treat you. And it's true. they Some of these shippers and receivers, they either just hate truck drivers or they just hate their job. And uh, the only thing I can say to that is if you hate your job, get the heck out of there. Because you're making... The thing is, here, here's, the, here's the problem with that. Here's, here's the biggest problem with that. You get one of one of these warehouses gets one of these drivers upset. Okay, he's upset, she's upset, what have you. You you really pissed her off or pissed him off by what you told them while they were there loading or unloading. They take off, they're furious. And I can attest to this guys, I can attest to this guys, because I've done that. I've been extremely upset. Not that much anymore. I don't really deal with that anymore. I mean, I'm really my calmness, my my level of, of of being irritated has like way down with this job here. Um, but they could leave that place extremely upset and go out there and kill somebody, have an accident, kill themselves just because how irritated they are because of the warehouse. If you don't like your job, I know I know times are different. Times are difficult right now. And nobody wants to quit their job. But back when times were still good and I was still driving, uh, I was driving the, the reefer. I was dealing with this even back then. If you don't like your job, quit your job. Go get a job somewhere else. Period. Because your actions is going to get somebody killed. Who knows how many people have gotten killed because of that particular reason. 
who knows how many people, how many drivers, how many innocent people have gotten killed. You hear me right? Killed. And we're not talking about hurt no more. We're talking about killed just because a warehouse employee got under the skin of this truck driver and that truck driver went out and had an accident. Oh, yes, of course, those of you that are not truck drivers can sit here and say, hey, well, you shouldn't be driving trucks if that's your attitude, but I want to. That's going back to being ignorant. Because it doesn't matter who you are, you get upset for one thing or another. Now, making life miserable for everybody else because you hate your job, that's a different story. But when you love your job, and the reason that you want to quit doing that job is because of you, that's the problem. Because I loved my job. I still love my job. I love being out here seeing different things and meeting different people. You guys know the spiel. I love it. But those warehouse workers at certain places make you want to hate your job and make you want to do things that you really would not do had it been an easy transaction. How hard is it for a plant employee, well not really plant, but for, yeah, let's say a plant employee, it's just to be a professional, you come in, how you doing sir, doing great, da 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 da, here's your load, get loaded, leave. Or you show up and they stay, you're there early or you're there late. Simple words have to be said only. Sir, you're late, we'll fit you in. Now drivers, we have fault too. We do. Some of us get upset for everything as well. And we do have fault too. Because then we'll go off on the on that person and then it'll just make it worse. But if you show up common and level-headed, there was there should be no reason why that that warehouse worker should treat you like that. And they do every single day. I promise you. Every single day nonsense absolute nonsense it shouldn't be happening like I said how many people have died due to that situation and you can't sit there and say oh I never get upset about anything bull I call bull on that one <laughs> I call bull on that one because you do for one reason or another you do. All right, brother. What you gonna do? Come on. Come on, so I can swing. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Come on, baby. <laughs> new driver. New driver. We gotta let, let him do his thing. Let, let him do his thing. All right. Well, I'm gonna go in here and do a tire pass. Get everything checked out. Make sure everything's good to go. We'll keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on. Hopefully they got that service working here because they they didn't at the last loads. That's why I stopped first to get it done. As soon as I loaded, I went there to get it done, and, and they didn't have a. Didn't have the tire pass service working, so. But I need to buy. I need to buy one of those. Uh, I need. A, I should. I, I have a lot of stuff in this truck, but I do need to buy a hose. That way, I can air up my tires whenever I need to. Because uh, they're not low, low, but I want everything to be even. Because I checked the pressures when I left, and they're not. They're not considered flat. They're within like. 10 you know all fluctuated a little bit up or down so we're just going to even them all out this is not a self uh a, a self air uh, a self airing or tire airing system this is just a regular straight you know just an independent so uh we're gonna get that done because we don't need to blow out this is already 90 90 degrees and uh things are getting hot things are going to start blowing out uh, a little bit of a line, but we'll be all right. 
<coughs> Excuse me. All right, guys. Well, um, like I said, I I do apologize for not coming back on, coming and making a video sooner. Um, just the circumstances, but uh, we're good. We're good. We're back out here. We're out here doing it again, doing what we love to do, making videos and out here trucking. So. If you made it this far, I really appreciate you making it this far, guys. And uh, don't forget to give that give that the thumbs up, man. I really do appreciate the thumbs up. The thumbs up really helps me out tremendously. And uh, if you watch the whole video, I really appreciate you for watching the whole video as well. Because that also helps tremendously. But with that being said, guys, don't forget, guys, to be kind to one another. Help anybody needs help. Anybody contemplating suicide, 1-800-273-8255. Military men and women, thank you so much for your service. See you guys on the next video. Peace. Out of here.